she's court ordered to turn the water back on and didn't even show up for the appointment to turn the water on. Can this, this is starting to sound like Otter Creek. After being locked out of the paid for warehouse over a year, the time has finally come. Look at this. I have a key. I just don't know if it works. Anybody that's a fan of what the Hales knows that the warehouse situation with Marilyn Raby has been in litigation for quite some time. As a matter of fact, she was showing the property. The entire property is under current litigation. Furthermore, the landowner has not given legal 24-hour notice for viewing. What that means is Marilyn has to give me, a legal tenant, 24 hours notice before coming into my lease space, which was not happening. I didn't even have a key to get in. But you know what? Now I do. We just don't know if it's actually gonna work. So here we go. Christian, what's your guess? Uh, it see. fits, it fits. What do you think? I'm thinking yes. It it turns. No, no! Christian! Wait! Oh, I just I turned it the wrong way. I turned We finally have a key. Look at this. We finally have a key. Christian, we no longer have to break in through the window. Uh, this is where Mitch broke in as well, and no doubt there's gonna be plenty of others breaking in there. We finally have a key. Let's go inside, let's have a look. Part of our agreement with Maryland is we had to get a key and all utilities. All utilities have to be on. I'm flipping the switch right now, Christian, anything? That one light's back there. Wait, 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 something's blinking. Something was blinking. Something right here was blinking. We got a loose cord right here. What's this? What's this? Oh, oh my goodness. I can't believe it. We, for over a year, we've been in darkness over this entire situation. And now look at this, Christian. We got this, this uh, nasty yellow bulb. You know, that's horrible light. Really, this whole place should be LED. Lights aren't the only thing that's supposed to be working though. So here we go. It's a crude bathroom, but when you're working in a warehouse, you need to go somewhere. You guys have been taking a bucket down to the down to the river, right? That or go to the gas station. Okay, or the gas station. Okay, here we go. There's your toilet paper. Oh, there's your bucket. Here, we'll put the toilet paper right there by the bucket. And should I start with hot water or cold water? I don't know. You cold. know what? There's no hot water heater, so we might as well go with cold water, right? Okay. Okay, here we go. And, and, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, nothing there. Let's look here in the toilet. Let's see. There's no water. There is no water. Right there. Christian and I were actually looking around. There's multiple buildings on the property. Here's another notice, important notice, 852, 854 Spruce Street. Our serviceman was unable to contact anyone at the above address, 513, 11 a.m. Please call with questions. Call to restore service, 11 o'clock appointment. Nobody showed. Worcester Water Department. Look at that. How crazy is that? She's court ordered to turn the water back on and didn't even show up for the appointment to turn the water on. Can this, this is starting to sound like Otter Creek. Maryland's former business partner, Brian, just showed up as well. Brian, you're all done with this whole court situation. It's all behind you now, everything moving forward. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta ask one question because I think the viewers who have followed us throughout this past, geez, over a year? It was over a year, right? Over a year. How much? Over years. Over two years. Over two years. Okay. So they followed this entire situation over two years. How do you feel about the agreement, the settlement? How do you feel about all of this? Well, let's just say not that great. Um, 13 years of taking care of the property. Basically turned out with zero compensation. There was a settlement agreement, but basically I walked away with nothing after 13 years, taking care of the property, cleaning it up, getting rid of all the trash, renting it out, which apparently is my compensation 
is to clean out the property, then rent it out to compensate myself for the work I did. That's basically what I'm walking away with, which is, works out to about $2,000 after 13 years. How do you feel about Maryland through all of this? How do you feel about that? Well, I'm not happy about the outcome of the situation, but I went into this situation to help Maryland. Uh, I always thought she was a nice lady and I did go into this to help her and all in all I wish her the best and hope things turn out good for her in the end. So now this leaves us in a situation where we have tons and tons and tons of inventory. Just to make it very clear, when I say us, really George owns everything. So therefore that's a business move. George owns everything. We gotta move everything for George. Everybody remember Gwen? Yeah, Look at that. Is. There's Gwen. Okay, Gwen, what are you doing right now? Stacking all the eBay totes in here okay. in order so we can move them and hopefully still have some kind of organization. All right. eBay totes, anything that's listed on eBay, our eBay ID is what the hails. Yeah, that's it. I'm pretty sure. I don't, Christian, you know, I don't work with it. That's it. That's it. Okay, so our eBay ID is what the hails. Anything that's currently listed on eBay, it's actually getting moved to another storage place. Unfortunately, that storage place is an apartment that I can't put a tenant in because I have to move all the eBay over to the, the apartment. So not only do I lose space, but now I lose money not being able to rent out an apartment as well. Everything is an eBay though. We've held back a lot of things. For example, this furniture. All of this was being held back to go to Florida as we build in Florida. Again, another thing for George. Everything is in the business name. George owns the business. That's just the best way to do that, to help yourself with taxes. And those are all business moves that are aligned by CPA. So uh, we got to get this stuff loaded up, Christian. Patience is here too. Gwen is here. Patience is here. Christian is here. I'm here. I don't know where the hell's George is. This is her business. Fred the Moose here, look at that right there. Not for sale, but everything else in the warehouse, everything else, if it's not eBay or if it's not Florida bound, like Fred the Moose here, he's going, he's going, yeah, he's going to Otter Creek. Finally gonna have a moose on the property too. Uh, everything else is a dollar here at 852 Spruce Street. And patience, patience, when are you guys usually open? You guys have been opening yeah, up. Yeah, we open from 10 to three. But you're gonna be on vacation for the next two weeks. Gwen, do you wanna open the place up for the next two weeks? I don't care. All right, looks like Gwen is gonna be opening the place. Will Willow be here? Probably. Willow, her daughter Willow will be here too. It's worth it just coming down to see Willow. Cutest stinking kid in the world, I promise you that. And uh, you can come down and get some of these great treasures. About what, half has left so far? Yeah. Look at that there. A trailer all the way from Florida. Conky with Conky's Flippin' Adventures, Rob with Second Sense, and myself. And we would have had Guapo with Storage Legends as well, but he had to head back to Ohio early. We did a 15 hour trip in one day. We bought an empty trailer down to Ohio. Here's what's happening. We gotta fill this bad boy up. Christian, you and I are gonna be busy. Look at this, I already, I brought this from the house from my place <sighs> for break time. Now, a lot of people are actually wondering, Jeremy, why are you even moving out? How can she do that to you? How can a judge actually make that judgment? Well, here's what's going on with that, okay? My lease expired April 2021. So my lease was up. So technically and legally, when a lease expires, if you don't have it in paperwork, it goes month to month. So in all reality, uh, I could have been kicked out legally by the end of May. I'm still in here, obviously, but we negotiated to the end of June 7th. So that's the day we negotiated to that. And I'm happy to comply, but we're not done yet. Remember, September 13th, that's the big jury trial date. Patience and Gwen been loading this trailer up. All right, how many toes you got in there? This is 102. Toes. 102. And then plus like 15 that don't have numbers on them. <laughs> okay, this is this is your toting. Uh, this is how you actually label totes. 
yeah. for eBay. You place it on eBay for the viewers, yep. and then you organize it by a number of a tote. Then it goes on a shelving system. Yep. And now this all, uh, well, <laughs> there's 102 totes in there, garbage cans that got to go to the curb. How do you feel about your new system? Are you going to be able to keep it organized in the apartment? Yeah, of course. How? Uh, I don't know. I just put them in order, numerical order, like you said. Oh, <laughs> good plan. Keep it in numerical order. Okay, so this is our first load to go to the empty apartment. We're going to take a look at the empty apartment. And we got many, many, many more loads to go. <laughs> yeah. All right. This trailer to Florida is coming along pretty well. We have to really, really strategically pack it though. We gotta pack it so that nothing moves. And so, it survives. Uh, patience, yeah, I do need your help. So okay. it survives a uh, 15 hour drive. All right, you're gonna kind of, you're gonna kind of push and pick up. At Gwen, I need your help too. Whoa, 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 girl. <laughs> I'm, so <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sensitive. <laughs> Gwen, can you push that up? I was okay. ready. <laughs> yeah, I can see you were ready. Okay. Now I'm going to have to. Patience trying to kill you. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to try and keep this couch. All right. Go ahead. Away there. Go ahead and. I think that's, it's up. It's up there. I think that's what we're going to get. <laughs> we're playing real life Tetris here. What's you all this what? yelling? <laughs> I hear yelling. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Halt, halt, halt. <laughs> and boss lady showed up. Am I going to have to stick around to supervise? Y'all need supervision? <laughs> no, just Jeremy. <laughs> Christian, you sure this is all going to fit in the apartment? Yeah, but, yeah. You're going to try anyway, huh? Yeah. All right. Patience. Yeah. You ready for this? I'm ready. <laughs> all right, let's go look at this apartment. All right. Whoa. All right. This is... A one bedroom apartment. Yep. And it's literally an uh, efficiency of kitchen. Yeah. One room here. Mm -hmm. A There's tiny, a tiny bathroom. What are you going to store in the bathroom? I don't know, nothing. And then this bedroom here. Yeah. So this is like 600 square feet to put everything yeah. that we need to keep. So. Oh, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> there are a couple of old closets in this old house from the 1900s. What's that closet look like? Looks like this. Oh, man. Put the best stuff in that one. Yeah, I figured that would be a good place. <laughs> I don't know, Christian. I honestly, I don't know. Let's, let's see what we can make happen. Let's I see know. what we can do. <laughs> Christian, what? round two in the eBay trailer. How did things go in the apartment? Uh, it was pretty alright. <sighs> we didn't show them yet. How packed is it? It's pretty much the whole apartment. Oh man, we got a whole another trailer load. Whew! How are your muscles? You feeling I'm the burn? Fine. They're fine. You feeling I'm the tired. burn? You tired? It's hot. It is hot, but it's only 2.30, so it's not break time yet. <laughs> Christian and I, how are we going to do it? Like this? We're going we're gonna to try and actually get Fred the Moose in here. I'm going to have to... All right, but we want them padded. What do you think? Does that work? Ooh, I don't know. I don't, but he, how are you looking? He's, he's a little wobbly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can you take the base out a little bit more? Because we got to get him to Florida. Have to get him to Florida. Okay. And then, well, I don't know how we're going to do it, but somehow, some way, we're getting him there safely. Christian, you're a bit of a genius. You remembered the towing bars. What do you think? I, I think he's going to be all right in here now. Kind of feels like he's fenced in now, yeah. doesn't it? It's okay, boy. Going to get you home. You're going to live a good life. You're gonna, he's going to retire in Florida. Hey, isn't that what everybody does? You're, you're next. You're next. I'm too young to retire. Most important thing right here, the Ghostbusters, the Cabbage Patch. Oh, the collectible items. Oh, so many cool things. I just hope we can get it all to Florida. Look at that. How cool is that? I hope we can get it all to Florida without too much damage. Oh, please don't get damaged. Baby, why does the boss get to enjoy the big comfy couch while I do manual labor? 
You signed up for manual labor. Patience, you told me it all fits. Yeah. This is not looking like it all fits at all. <laughs> and we have another load out there. Um, welcome to the kitchen. <laughs> so this apartment, this apartment is $625 a month, all utilities paid, and all the totes that you could ever dream of. Okay, not bad. So you got it all lined up there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then, and then it comes all the way through here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, you did, you did actually use the closet. Yeah, space. we had to. <laughs> they used the closet space. This is only half the eBay stuff. Not to mention I'm going to keep buying. Is there anything in here? Yeah. 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 There's stuff in there too. Oh, the water, the water for crystal. Look at that. You know what? There is more space. I mean, like yeah. we're we're standing in it right now. Yeah. So we could probably we could probably get a little more more eBay totes in here. But uh, to do anything else, I'm probably gonna have to get another empty apartment. <laughs> we're clearing out the warehouse. We're, we're looking at stuff to actually throw out on the floor. This is a box from a movie star unit that I bought. Everybody remembers Rudy Ray Moore. Eddie Murphy redid it called I Am Dolomite on Netflix. This is the Dolomite, the Rudy Ray Moore unit. Now, I thought this was all just roses. He would give this away at signings. And did you hear that thud? There's a thud. And there's definitely, there is something under there. Now, you guys all remember the production company was looking for some specific things. As a matter of fact, the production company spent thousands and thousands of dollars just on paperwork that had Rudy's name on it. And here, anybody want to guess what this is? It says Rudy number two on it. Okay. Anybody want to guess what this is? Yeah. No clue what that is. One of the things that's missing is the original Dolomite film. They, Rudy told the production company that it was so bad that he burned it. And I think... We actually just found it. And I have no doubt whatsoever, if I contacted Eddie Murphy, he would buy it. I think, oh my goodness. Is that what? Oh my goodness. I think we just found it. What do you think it is? I think we literally just found it. This is the original. This is the original. This is the original. This is the original that they filmed on. That is the film. I can't believe I cannot believe this. It was hidden in all the roses. There it is, right there. Wow. There it is, right there. I threw it down on the ground. That's the crazy part. I still find stuff every day from storage units that I have no idea that I actually have. This could be this could this could be worth a million dollars to the right person. Upon further inspection, it's actually titled. It says take. T uh, title Merry Christmas Baby 15 IPS. So, okay, this might not be the original Dolomite. I don't know what Wait. Mary. You had it open on the other side first. What is this? 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 Okay, so I, I actually sold a lot of his handwritten jokes to the production company for a few thousand dollars. Here, okay. This is his recording of his, this is the recording of his albums. So look, 000, Night Before Christmas, part two, 36, oh, uh, these are the jokes. This is the original, look at that, there it is. This is the original Excite Studio. This is it, this is his original recording. This isn't the movie, this is his original album recording. Still pretty stinking cool. The boss is back checking on progress. The boss or the real boss? Okay, the real boss is back yes. checking on progress. How are we doing, the real boss? Well, I just I just showed up because I heard lunch was going to be served. Just like a supervisor showing up for lunch. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is true. I came to check up on the gang because this one right here, moving the spool, definitely needs supervision. Where's Mr. Moose? You mean Fred the Moose? Who's Fred? Well, I thought it was obvious in the name. Fred the Moose. It's just Mr. Moose. Maybe it's Van Moose now. Like the Moose. <laughs> the Moose. The Moose. I do see your antlers. You do? Is, is, 
Is his antlers going to be okay well, without it being wrapped? I mean, it's pretty close to the side of the trailer. I've never transported a moose before, so... I'd be wrapping him up in, like, moving blankets. Okay, well, let's... You need some bubble wrap. Let's hear you wrap. Definitely need some bubble wrap. Definitely need some moving blankets. This is more like spoken word, not rap. Come on, work with me. Frank, my good buddy. Oh my goodness. Frank from UMH, right here in Worcester, came out to the warehouse. Uh, boss lady is over here, Frank. Frank wants to purchase one of our open trailers. Uh, Frank, which yes. trailer are you interested in? That one in? right there. Okay, what are you going to use it for? Haul our tools. Haul all your tools? Yeah. You know, I have a more important question, Frank. Yeah. Do you remember which unit we found this trailer in? No, I don't. It was here in Worcester. I know it was here because I saw it. That's how I saw it on YouTube. But I, yeah. don't, I don't know which yeah. one it was. Okay. All right. What are you thinking? What are you thinking price wise? 100 bucks. 100 we're bucks, boss lady. We're selling everything for a dollar, right? We're selling everything for a <laughs> dollar. <laughs> That's a good deal right there, Frank. I'll take it all. Um, boss lady told me that I had to sell it for, for 400. That was the price she put on it. All right. How about 300? Let me let me consult with boss lady. What do you think? Do you want to go with two hundred? Um, he's at three hundred. I think we should maybe actually go with the three hundred. Well, I was gonna say a dollar. I know. We have to get rid of everything, but there's two hundred dollars that will pay for diesel to get everything back to Florida. Is that a yes or a no? <laughs> I can't read your mind. I can't read your mind either. Frank. She says she's not a mind reader. You can have it for a dollar. All right. It's a dollar. It's yours. Frank Sold. got it for a dollar. That's awesome. You drive a hard bargain Woo! there, George. We got to make our subscribers happy. But this battle ain't over yet. Now, is Definitely it, George? Definitely not mm -mm. over. Mm -mm. Just when you think oh, it's man. over, huge turn of events always huge. happen. So huge, the H is silent. Mm. Yep. Huge. She didn't see this one coming.